yeah. exhausting. Yeah. But if you want something delicious for your dinner to kick start the weekend, tick, tick, tick. Shivy Ramatar is here with the perfect recipe. <laughs> Tell us what you're making. So I've got a gorgeous Caribbean inspired freezer curry in a hurry. But before we get there, I've got some ice cold tip tastic freezer tips. Love it. To help you save some money, save some time. Save some space. Save, save some space. I love this. So this is my freezer file. Every freezer should look like this. And basically, you'll Let notice... Guess, you were quite a geek at school. <laughs> still am now, Dermot. Still am now. <laughs> so look, the beauty of this, beautiful freezer bags. Anytime you're making curries, sauces, chilies, stews, flat freeze it like this in a bag. So you pop it in once Such it's cooked. a good idea. Put it flat in the freezer. And the reason we do it this way and not in a Tupperware, we can break it off, crack it, and throw it straight into a pan so you cook ah. from frozen. Because there's something to do with surface area what, compared to volume. You, I always get confused, and you always, you always sort of put me on the right track and then I forget. Yeah. What can I cook from frozen and what can't I cook from okay. frozen? Okay, so all of these sauces can be cooked from frozen because of the surface area to volume, right? You can crumble it and it'll go straight and it'll start defrosting quickly and it'll cook through. Normally, chicken and meats with bone in and that are quite thick and big need to be defrosted. So sausage would need to be defrosted? No. Oh. Sausages can go into the oven from frozen. Chicken would normally have to be defrosted if you cut it like this in these thin strips yeah. and you freeze it flat like that, so basically, while you're freezing it like that, it's separate. So right. then after you do that, you can pop it into a freezer bag. What and difference it's not... does it make, like, in terms of... Because it has to be fully defrosted, you need to defrost it quickly. Is no. That what, is that what it is? What it is, is, look, normally, if you freeze it just straight in a bag, it clumps up, right? You get this yeah. massive clump and then you will have to defrost that because it's just too big. It'll take too long to defrost. And if you but... cook it from that and it, and it gets to room... Is it gets to, like, um, cooking temperature, that's still bad for you? It's not good for you because th what's going to happen is you're going to end up with raw bits in the middle. Gotcha. Like this, though, they're small enough, you can chuck it straight into the curry, which is what I'm going to do. Um, so it's safe, it'll defrost quickly and it's good to use. But also another thing about doing it this way is that you're not wasting. If you have a massive clump of chicken, you're going to end up defrosting the whole sure, lot. Sure, sure. Are you yeah. going to eat it all? No. I agree. Same with and what, can sausages. you just wash these bags and reuse them? And... Yeah, just yeah. wash them and try to keep protein in protein. Same with sausages. Do you ever get that sausage brick wall when you put the whole pack in yes. when you buy it from Love the supermarket? That. Sausage brick wall. Again, look, don't need it. You could freeze those separately. Yep. And the same with fruit. I'm not going to use the same um, spoon there, but look. Flat freeze it like that, then into a freezer, so freezer bags, you can take exactly what you need. Look, you've sold it, babe. I mean, you have sold in, the freezer bags. I'm not bag. finished yet, Alison. Look, here we go. But, oh, more. Herbs. Oh, I like this. You buy herbs, you use a bit. I bet you find it at the back of the fridge, going fat, yes, fat, and a bit so wilty. that's true, that happens. When you buy it, immediately chop them up, pop about a tablespoon in each ice cube tray, so you know each cube is a tablespoon of herbs. Oh. Where'd it go? Chilies. Very clever. Um, you, I also use ice cube trays for pestos and paste leftover wine, if that is such a thing. It's <laughs> great in sauces. Oh, that's a good idea. Stock, lemon juice. It's such a good way to live. Shivy, it's incredible. We have 30 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, Alison had to get involved. So this really simple base curry. Onion. It's all store-covered ingredients. Yeah. That should really brown up quite a lot. We haven't got time for that. I'm going in with cumin, curry powder and garam masala. Is that like a medium? Yeah, like a medium is good. Yeah. Um, and as I said, it's a, more of a Caribbean-style curry. Mm. It's not an Indian curry, it's more nice. Caribbean-style. So that's going in there. You want that smell, the aromas to hit, a bit of garlic in there. And then all we're going to add to that, tins of tomato. Nice. Tins of coconut milk. And you'll end up with something that looks like that. To cook from frozen, literally our gorgeous... Chicken. You can throw it exactly what you need from How frozen. Easy is that? Yeah, unbelievable, right? You have to make sure though that the sauce is piping hot. So this is what it looks like when you crumble it. You're chucking it in like that, a splash of water, and eventually it'll come to these quite hot, thick sauce. And then you pop your frozen ingredients in. Why do you have to make sure the sauce is hot? So that your ingredients, it, so you don't want to keep bringing down the temperature of the dish, right? So once your sauce is hot, you've got frozen chicken going in there, mm -hmm. frozen vegetables. Better for you than vegetables in the back of your fridge leaching away goodness. Yeah. I, I heard that. Apparently, that frozen vegetables are better than the fresh ones, and I don't know why. Well, it's just because as soon as it comes out of the ground, it's normally frozen yeah, immediately. Yeah, straight so it away. locks in that yeah. goodness. Frozen rice. It's quicker to cook Stop rice. Stop messing with my mind. What? It's quicker to reheat rice from frozen than it is to cook fresh, right? Really? We know this. Yes, because, look, frozen rice here. Hang on. We cooked that rice already. This rice has been cooked. So this rice has been cooked. Be... And then what happens? You just let it... Just freeze it. But does it clump up? So, it's you know already how it cooked. Can clump up, you know? 
Rice can clump up when you leave it. Yeah, so but in the freezer, it's, I think it stays the same. You freeze it straight away. Yeah. You freeze it like my flat freeze technique here. You throw it all into a pan, into a tray, open freeze it so it freezes in grains. So again, you're not defrosting the whole lot. You can crumble off exactly what you need and straight into a hot pan. I mean, unbelievable. Like that. You can also put it in a microwave. Messing with our minds. The one thing when you're freezing rice, because you can buy store-bought packets like that, ready frozen rice, you can also do it yourself. I bet you two overcook rice, as in you cook loads of it. There's okay. always loads of it. Oh, I that. always do. So oh. as long as you get it cooled within the hour, it is good enough, as in it's not going to be dangerous. You can pop it into the tray, then into your freezer bag and idea. use it. And it will take literally minutes. You just need to make sure it's piping hot all the way through. OK. Right? That's the key thing to anything coming from the freezer. It needs to be piping hot through once you've reheated it. Subi, when you buy vegetables, do you chop them up and stick them in the freezer or do you just buy frozen vegetables? Buy frozen vegetables, there's no need to faff about. And actually, sometimes it's more cost effective buying a big bag of mixed frozen veg because you don't have to buy your separate cauliflower, your separate broccoli, your separate carrot. And it's all there, the goodness is there for you. And I chuck it into everything, you know? And with this technique as well, you're saving, aren't you? Because you're just breaking off the amount of sauce that you need, the amount of rice and chicken. You're not overcooking, it's such a good idea. And that's what cut brings the cost down. Yeah. But it's also quick. Look, you know, we've had that sauce on. I've bung the chicken and the veg in. And, you know, this you can throw in here frozen fish. Right, you can I'm throw in just veggies. I've got butternut taste. squash here. Should it we... really is a simple tailor up right. to what I you want. I had me and Alison around for dinner, and I, I quite like a nose in a fridge when I go around someone's house. <laughs> yeah. And I always get very disappointed there's not much in. <laughs> Do you... Would I open your fridge and would I find anything in there? Is it all in the freezer? Are you one of those people, you know, normally you have the fridge, the big fridge, yeah. the freezer slightly. Are you the opposite of that? You've got, Ooh. like, five massive freezers. I could walk into fridge. my freezer. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my, my husband probably locked me in there as well, but actually my freezer's gorgeous. It's like, it's like this, you know, you just need s some glasses and just flick through it. Got anything fresh in the house? Or? Yeah, I've got some fresh stuff. If I but... came around, would you just be like, oh, it's paella again tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got fresh stuff as well, but my forte is my freezer. Yeah. I love a freezer. This oh. is, but this is delicious. This and, is lovely. Well, this is the thing about freezers as well, Alison. Things like the curries and the stews and the casseroles yeah. taste better over time. And if it's in the freezer, mm. this has been in there for like three weeks. This and is... it just makes the flavours meld and mould and come even together when so gorgeous. Frozen. Yes. Oh, yeah. Really tasty. Yeah. And then. Right, you've got 15 <laughs> seconds to dish up, darling. Oh. <laughs> Are you eating? You're Wait, eating I mean, we're right? eating. You've yeah. dished up. And this you is the finished product. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All you need. <laughs> and then that rice. There Not piping hot yet, well but when done, it is. Well done, <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure, that was for great. details Thank of you so much. recipes and more mouth watering ideas from our chefs. Download the free This Morning app.